Welcome to Episode 3 of the Sporties Advanced Pilot Skill Series. I'm Spencer Suderman, airshow pilot, flight instructor, and Guinness World Record holder for most inverted flat spins. In this episode, we're going to learn how to talk turns to the plane. Now let's head out in a Cessna 172, where we'll start at 3,500 feet off the coast of St. Augustine, Florida. Now I'm going to talk about something that some people might find rather controversial. Let me ask a question. Which flight control turns the airplane? Some of you right now are saying it's the ailerons when you bank the airplane, it's the rudder like a bow, it's the elevator. Remember, the reason you turn has to do with the direction the lift component of the wing is pointed. So when you roll into a bank, you're pointing the lift vector in the direction you want to turn. Now in a Cessna, because of the way a Cessna is built, the wing has an angle of incidence that's positive, meaning it's screwed onto the airplane in a slight nose-up attitude. It has washout, or, or the w tips of the wings are twisted, so that they are uh, at a different angle of attack than the middle, so it stalls later than the middle of the wing. There's all kinds of things going on in a Cessna to make them easier to fly and safer. So if I just roll in bank, well, it appears simply by banking the airplane turns because it starts to turn. But in fact, that has more to do with the angle of incidence and the fact that you already have a positive angle of attack in the direction you want to go and the fact that the ailerons and banking are turning the airplane. So we'll level out here for a moment. In fact, we'll go in the other direction. We have a beautiful view of the beach, which is my favorite thing to look at when I come out here and fly in St. Augustine, Florida. But let's look at this idea of the elevator turning the airplane. If I roll in bank, and I'm just going to, in the Cessna, because of this positive angle of incidence, I'm going to give a little push on it so that I don't, I can counteract that positive angle of attack. And I'm going to show you that I can put in bank without the airplane turning. Now, without pulling back on the elevator and increasing the angle of attack, it will sink a little bit. But I want to show you that it will not be changing heading. So I'm just going to put in a bit of a left bank, and let's watch what happens. Remember, I'm pushing in a little bit so I don't get that angle of attack. Notice, as I'm putting it in, it's banking, but it's not turning. Now, when I pull back, it starts turning, showing you, showing all of us, that the elevator does, in fact, turn the airplane. That's about a 45-degree bank. So if I pull harder, it turns faster. This should not be news to anybody watching this. The harder I pull, the faster it turns. Increase angle of attack, you get more lift in the direction of the turn and more vertical lift, and I'm holding altitude. The result is a faster rate of turn. Don't believe me? Get with your instructor, go out in an airplane, and play with this a little bit. And have a little fun with it. Put in some bang, push a little bit so you're not giving a positive angle of attack, and notice, as I put the bank in, the nose is dropping, yes, but we're not turning. All right, let's recover that. One of my favorite things to demonstrate to people. Are you ready to continue your aviation journey and further expand your flight skills? Check out one of Sporty's exciting aviation courses, which includes everything from private pilot training, how to fly tailwheel airplanes, and aerobatic training with Patty Wagstaff. Visit sporties.com forward slash discover for more information.